Hello, this is another video clip from uh, me, Jonathan Porterfield, here at Eco Cars. Uh, it's another Toyota Igo Blue, registered 31st of March 2009 on an 09 plate. So it's under warranty with Toyota till the 31st of March 2012, three years or 60,000 miles. Uh, we've just had it converted with a brand new BRC LPG system. So there's the filler. And we always like to have the colour-coded fillers on the Igo Blue because um, the back bumper is totally blue, <laughs> basically, as you can see. So looking in the boot space, we fit the, have the spare wheel removed and the gas tank is a 34 litre tank that can be filled to about 28 litres from empty to allow for expansion and it fits rather neatly in the boot. So the spare is with the car along with the jack, but we recommend you carry a tin of tie sealant and leave the spare at home as the spare will not fit in the boot area. The two seats drop down in a 50-50 split. Also a small parcel shelf which comes out as well. Rear wash wipe, high level brake light. And doesn't it look rather nice in this uh, in this metallic blue? And being the Igo blue, you get lots of optional extras as standard. So just running through them briefly, we have electric windows in the front. And just find the key and go also uh, remote central locking now at the moment there is only one key now uh, the, the spare key which is a non-remote may appear but at the moment there's just one key with the car some uh, adjustable uh, wing mirrors and uh, say remote central locking driver's seat is very clean we've just vacuumed this out this morning so we've not uh, not wet cleaned it or anything it is as new it really just still smells like a brand new car as well to be honest now the rear seats have Isofix, two rear headrests and two rear inertia seat belts. And uh, I've also got set of proper types of Igo floor mats, which uh, as you can see are very, very clean. There's floor mats in all four footwells. So inside we have uh, a single shot CD player with the iPod connection and all the normal radio controls. Heated rear screen, has in warning lights, air conditioning, all the Igo Blues had aircon as standard. Just to recirculate the airflow, temperature, direction of the uh, airflow and obviously the fan. I have a uh, 12 volt PowerPoint uh, charger there, so there's no cigarette pack fitted to Igo's. Two cup holders, some coin holders, five speed manual gearbox. And we also in the Igo Blue get upgraded hi-fi, so you've got some extra tweeters in the front along with some bass speakers in the bottom of the doors. A front passenger airbag and a driver's airbag. Normal stalk controls for the wipers and the headlamps and the rear fog light. A rather nice singular binnacle here. So that's the LPG switch just down there. So I'll just start the car. Now the red light denotes it's going to start up on petrol. This is what most LPG vehicles will do, being dual fuel. So because it is a warm day, there's a click from the boot, the red light turns to amber, then green, and it's now running on LPG. And the four lights denote the full tank of gas. And as you approach uh, 250, 260 miles, um, that last one will actually start to flash. And at about 280 miles, it will actually start to beep, and that denoting it's defaulted back to LPG. Of course when it does beep and you've run out of gas, to stop the beeping you turn the system off, obviously fill up with gas again, turn the system back on, click from the boot, turns to amber, turns to green, and there we are running back on LPG auto gas. So in all, because it does start upon petrol, you always have to carry some petrol in the petrol tank just for that warm up period. Guarantee the mileage there, 16,638 miles. No warning lights, it's just telling the seat belts uh, not on, and the other light is just denoting the handbrake is on as well. Lovely places to be. Uh, oh, it has, I forgot to mention, a Bluetooth phone system. Extremely clever. Pairs up with your mobile phone, and then to take a call, you just press the button and just speak normally. It interrupts the sound system. So very very useful safe feature on the iGo Blue is the Bluetooth phone. Lovely place to be 
We've sold lots and lots of these, very popular conversions. And uh, I'll just show you some more documentation. So the documents, we've got a proper Toyota uh, wallet here with all the manuals in on how to use the uh, Bluetooth phone system, uh, user guide manual for the, uh, for the car. All the documents that came with the car are here in the wallet. And looking at the V5 registration document, it was an X uh, demonstration car, so the first owner's inch cape, and then there was a lady here that owned it after there. So it's uh, registered 31st of the 3rd, 2009. I think this lady bought it when it was about six months old, and uh, we bought it from a dealer after she'd got exchanged it, I believe, for another IGO. So, date of registration, you can see in the sun, we just move it. There we go, avoid the shadow, 31st of the 3rd, 2009. And we will have this change to the taxation class to alternative fuel car and fuel type will be changed to gas by fuel and we'll do this with DVLA when you come to uh, take the vehicle. Uh, the service history, it's got a service book, I think it's been had some water damage at some point but it is the service book for the car. There's the uh, supplying dealer there, dealer there, Stephen Eagle Toyota of Aylesbury. And it has, because it's just over two years old, two years old, it's got the first uh, Toyota stamp there at 7,700 miles on the 22nd of the 3rd, 2010. So we're going to have the car service next week. So uh, the warranty will still be valid till the 31st of March 2012. So it's due its next service, which we're having carried out. And this is the important LPG conversion documents now. So it's just to confirm, this has been carried out by uh, BRC registered installers who are part of the UK LPG group. And uh, LPG conversions uh, just is a registration receipt, just to confirm that this Toyota IGO, there's its registration, has been recorded on the UK LPG vehicle register because certificates are no longer issued and everything is now online so if you go to uh, drivelpg.co.uk pop in this registration you will see confirmation this has been fitted to uk lpg standards which is nice the all the documents for the gas system are here we have uh, an lpg um, brc service book with all the guidance as to how the system works along with all the relevant certificates for the gas system and the regulator and also documents about the flash lube system which I'll show you in a moment under the bonnet along with a 2011 LPG Autogas uh, refuelling stations map guide so it's all ready to go and uh, I'll just finish off around the outside So under the bonnet we have the uh, BRC engine control unit which changes the timing of the engine and down here we have the um, vaporizer and along the back is the LPG uh, gas filter and just here where my fingers are you can see on the camera there we go there's the uh, inline uh, gas rail feeding the three cylinders with LPG. All the IGOs and C1s we fit with flash lube for the sake of £70 it just uh, helps protect the top end of the engine from any valve wear. But to date, we've not ever had a C1 or an IGO come back with any issues on the valves at all. So uh, we always fit flash lube, and I'll explain how that system works. But suffice to say, this car is HPI clear. There's no signs of any accident damage. It really is a very, very clean Toyota IGO. So just looking around it, there's a few tiny stone chips well, there's one, there's a tiny one there, two stone chips to the leading edge of the uh, water, the bonnet. The front corners are scuff free, often these are tend to be scuffed. Uh, this wheel trim was grazed, but I've replaced it with a brand new one. And as you can see, it's very, very clean. There's a tiny scratch to the plastic bumper at the back above the number plate. That's the only thing I can fault it on, to be honest. The other wheel trims are perfect, so the wing mirrors are fine. There are no chips to the windscreen. It's uh, a very nice three-door Toyota IGO Blue, recently converted with uh, a BRC LPG system. That's under warranty for two years, the LPG system, 
and the car is under warranty with Toyota till next March 2012. Road tax for this will be just uh, £20 a year, Group 1 insurance and a full tank of gas will take you or cost you around about £20 to fill with uh, 28 litres of water gas and that £28 or 28 litres, £20 worth of uh, gas will take you at best 310 miles, at worst with the aircon on in the summer perhaps about 260 miles. So in price terms it's approaching 100 miles to the gallon. So uh, lovely cars to run gas. If you have any questions about this or any of our LPG or hybrid vehicles please feel free to give me Jonathan a call anytime. Thanks for watching.